What's going on, y'all? Me, Brandon Brown, coming here with another episode of Theory Addict. Um, I think this is episode four. Don't quote me on that one, though. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to remind you guys that my EP as Dr. Frankenrhyme is currently available for free download. You can get the entire album with only one click. I would also like to remind you that Chameleon Couch Productions, which is the label that the Z Brandon Bronson channel operates under, has a Facebook group. Links to both of them will be in the description. Download the album, like the group. So, on to our first real order of business. I have a camera now, which I am currently using. I'm using this as kind of my test uh, footage. So, if it turns out kind of poopy, I'm sorry. I'm testing out the camera. Already I can kind of tell that the lighting isn't exactly going to work out, so I need to work on that, but hopefully this means that you guys will be getting more content from me, or more of me, anyways. For those of you who don't really like me, sorry. Technically, today is the beginning of the back-to-school season. By the time that you guys see this, uh, the kids will have already been in school for a couple days, but I am really excited about that. I get to sleep in again, I get a couple hours to myself, Hopefully this will mean I'll have more time to put toward videos, which, along with the new camera, should be pretty ballin'. And now the camera's in a different place. Speaking of when you guys will be seeing this, if I have my way and this goes up when I want it to, that will make today the one-year anniversary of this channel. If I upload any later, I apologize, but hopefully I'll upload on Thursday, meaning that... Today, this YouTube channel has turned one year old. I have a video with almost half a million hits. I have a couple of other videos which are over the 10,000 mark. I have over 1,300 subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. I have you guys to thank for it. Thank you very much. Hopefully I won't have to thank you for anything for another little while, because I'm sure that you guys are sick and tired of hearing me say thank you. So I don't really cook that often, but the other day I made some uh, baked fish. My aunt had some uh, frozen fish in the freezer, like actual fillets of fish. So I decided for dinner I was going to make the fish for the kids that I babysit. Yes, I am a babysitter. I realize how scary that is, um, but I thought it turned out pretty good. I just added some salt, some pepper, a little bit of butter, and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they had this Mediterranean spice rub, which I put on there, and it turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself. I just wanted to brag about that for a second, because I don't really cook, and I made something really good, and I'm proud of myself. By the way, I'm sure that you guys have noticed, but I, uh, did something a little different with my hair. Um, this, I have kind of like a light brown. I kept the top layer my natural color, but, um, everything beyond that, I am completely freaking blonde now. I figure I'm trying to start a new chapter of my life. Why not kick it off with a new look? So, uh, do you guys like it? I mean... I'm thinking that once I get tired of the blonde, I'm probably going to dye that another color, like, possibly bleach the rest of my head and do it, like, one color with, like, colored tips. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you think of that. And now, we move on to the question and answer segment. I got a couple things I want to say after this, so stick around, but let's jump right into this. We actually have quite a few questions for this episode. The first one comes from XXX Dark Angel Frank, XXX, and he asks, Did you follow a religion before becoming an atheist? I had a feeling that my video on religion would lead to a couple more questions, so if you don't want to hear me talk about religion, skip ahead a little bit. To answer your question, Frank, I did dabble with a handful of religions before I just realized that I don't believe in anything. For the first 12 years of my life, I was a Christian. 
I was actually very heavily involved with Christianity and the church, but eventually I had to question the religion. And after that, I dabbled in Levain Satanism. I tried my hand at Wicca and a couple other uh, pagan offshoots. Offshoot probably isn't the right word. I'm expecting some hate for that. Um, I studied Buddhism. I studied Taoism. I tried a lot of different things, mostly because I grew up in an area where it didn't matter what religion you were, but you had to follow some sort of religion. And it wasn't until I was about 16 years old when I realized, you know what, I don't believe in anything, I'm wasting my time, I'm an atheist, I'm just going to quit beating around the bush and accept that. And if the people I know can't accept that, they can suck a nick. So, to answer your question, yes. This next question comes from Paul5028, and he asks, Is there a theory you have read that has creeped you out? A theory? No. But a creepypasta? There have been plenty of them. My theories are usually half actual, like, theories, and half creepypastas that I can use as theories, and there have been a few creepypastas that have really weirded me out. If I need to name one that's gaming related right off the top of my head, it was definitely Ben Brown. That scared the shit out of me. This next question is from Faze Giveaway. They ask, do you drink any energy drinks? If so, what's your favorite? Yes, I do drink energy drinks. I'm trying to cut back on them because I know they're not good for me. You know, because my fat ass who smokes roughly around a pack a day is all of a sudden concerned about health. But, um, I remember when I first started drinking energy drinks, I was really into uh, Rippet's Lime Wrecker, which is... I can't really find it around here anymore, which bums me out because I love that shit with a passion. Um... I have to say that my favorite right now is Monster Import. I just think it's a little bit sweeter than Monster. It doesn't have that slight bitter aftertaste, so I really like that. However, on an exceptionally hot day, I will usually crack open a Rockstar Lemonade. There was this one energy drink that was around here. Uh, there were two of them, actually. One of them was called Joker, and the other one was called, like, Voodoo or something like that. Those were really good. And Cocaine. Cocaine was a good one. I mean, it burned when it went down. It felt like you were drinking fucking whiskey, but that shit worked. It woke me up. That is one of the few energy drinks that has ever given me the jitters. Um, but I didn't really crash on it. I really don't crash on energy drinks that often, unless I drink, like three or four in a day, which I haven't done in about a year. Um, but, yeah, Fuse, I hope that answers your question. I'm rambling now. Next question. The next question is from, uh, MetaKnight145, who has contributed quite a few questions to these, and he asks, or she, I don't know which one you are, they ask, who are your all-time favorite comedians? Uh, they can be living or dead. That is actually a really good question. For those of you who don't know, um, I've been trying to get gigs as a stand-up comedian. Because I'm not 21 yet, that's been kind of difficult for me, because most of the areas around here uh, need for you to be 21 or older because they serve alcohol and they usually don't have comedians start coming on the stage until the alcohol is already a -fluing. So... To answer your question, though, my favorite comedian of all time has to be Mitch Hedberg. The way that guy set up and delivered his jokes was absolutely perfect, and he had kind of an intelligent sense of humor. Like, it wouldn't be rare to hear, like, bootlegs of crowds who just did not get his stuff. Uh, but whenever he had a smart crowd, they were on the ground dying of laughter. Um, Lewis, Lewis Black is another one of my favorites. I really like him. When I was 
really, really, really into politics. Uh, I loved his material. I still do. I'm still into politics to some extent, but I try not to pay too much attention to it because it just makes my blood boil. Uh, I, I, I can't go without mentioning George Carlin. George Carlin is the Jesus of comedy as we know it today. He's absolutely incredible. <laughs> as far as current comedians go, um, really the only current comedian who has really wowed me has been Donald Glover. I think that that guy is absolutely amazing at everything he does. So, hopefully that answers your question, bud. The next question is from T. Collett 14 Hey, T. Collett, how you been? And he or she, I need to start figuring out what fucking sex you guys. Leave a comment down below, let me know if you have a dick or a vagina. But T. Collett 14 asks, what are your favorite TV shows? I have to admit, right now, I don't really watch a lot of TV. Most of my time is spent watching YouTubers whenever I have time to actually sit down and watch something. Uh, really the only TV I watch right now is, uh, that current shows are, uh, I'll sit down and I'll catch professional wrestling whenever I can, whether that's Raw, SmackDown, or TNA. TNA has actually been getting pretty good lately, if you ask me. Um, I really like the show Dexter. I usually watch it on my computer, but it's a TV show. Unfortunately, I haven't really had the time to, like, sit down and really get into it. I have, uh four seasons of it on my external. I am not even halfway through season one right now. Right now. Um, another one I've been really getting into as of late, thanks to The Hat and uh, Goober and my buddy Mr. Squibbles to some extent, um, has been Doctor Who. With Doctor Who, I don't know why I enjoy it. Because I started in the middle of a season and no idea what the fuck is going on. But Matt Smith is just so charming. So, as far as older TV sh shows go, I watch a lot of the stuff I grew up on. Like, recently I've been watching a lot of Animaniacs, which, oh my god, I appreciate that show so much more now that I'm an adult than I did when I was a kid. Um, I recently got Batman the Animated Series, which I plan on digging my teeth into. Um... For a long time, I've been wanting to finish up Cowboy Bebop and uh, Outlaw Star. However, every time I start really getting down and watching those, I end up having to stop for some reason. Forgive me if my voice is a little more nasally than usual. I've got kind of a stuffy nose right now. So, uh, there's that. Oh, Jesus. The last question comes from Mr. Squibbles, the goddamn Jelly Bean Man. By the way, Mr. Squibbles does some really good butts plays. So, if you would like to check out a couple of good Let's Plays, I'll have a link down there to his YouTube channel. Um, he only has two episodes up right now, but it's... He does a Pokemon Let's Play, but with a twist, it's a hack that randomly generates all of the Pokemon. Like, it randomly generates the starters, what Pokemon appear where. It's a really fucking cool concept, so... I suggest that you guys go check that out up here in the Let's Plays. Link's down there. I know a lot of you guys asked me uh, to do a Let's Play. I can't figure out the technology, but Squibbles has, and Squibbles is doing a really good job. Anyways, Mr. Squibbles asks, What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? African or European. The last thing I wanted to bring up is, I'm going to be, at least for the month of September, I'm going to be trying to do a Monday, Thursday, Saturday upload schedule, because I have a lot of footage that is on my computer that I need to edit and upload. Um, I have quite a few big projects that I need to start, and hopefully this will be a little uh, fire under my ass to get started. So, for the month of September, at least, I will be trying to upload every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So, for those of you who like what I do, yay. For those of you who are only here for the theory addicts, eh, I'll try and do one of those. But, uh, with that said, V. Brandon Bronson, I forgot something. 
first of all, in the comment section, let uh, leave your questions for next time, because I love answering those, but I cannot believe I almost forgot to mention this. Expect something big for the one year anniversary of the Ed and Netty video, which just so happens to fall on an upload day. I already have it filmed. I already have it edited. I already have it finalized. It's sitting on my computer just waiting for you guys. I'm really excited to upload it. You will see it next Thursday. Me, Brandon Brownson, signing out.